that you have at least five feet of space. All right, what we have here, I got some cones laid out. If you're at home, you can lay down some books, you can lay down a pencil, lay down anything on the surface that you can use as a marker. Just make sure it's safe, not slippery, it's not something that you're gonna trip on or that you're worried about breaking. So we're gonna do a series of exercises, 20 seconds each. We're gonna go for two total minutes, take a break, then repeat the circuit two more times. What we're gonna start off with for 20 seconds is going around this cone. So, nice small steps, quick feet, going around the cone. As fast as you can. Doesn't have to be super fast. 20 seconds of that. Then we're gonna change directions. Here we go, another 20 seconds. You're gonna continue that for 20 seconds. Right after those two, we're gonna to come to the side of the cones or the books, whatever you have, and we're gonna step up and over, in and out the cones. It'll be very slow, we'll be very fast. Remember, we only got 20 seconds, a short window of opportunity to get some work in. So boom, 20 seconds again. Now, after that, we're gonna step over here to this last cone, and I'm gonna reach over, step, Single leg squat, I'm bending down a little bit. Reach, come down in the squat. Reach, come down in the squat. You can even turn it to a hop. There we go, 20 seconds of that. After those 20 seconds, come right to the middle. Squats, simple squats, 20 seconds. Up and down. After that, we're gonna come into the sumo squat position. Toes pointed out, knees pointed out. Hips are squared at the front. Squat down, about as slow as you can go. Now we're gonna lift up these heels and just pulse the calves. Lifting the heels up and down. Stay down in this sumo squat position. 20 seconds of that. There goes your first two minutes. We're gonna repeat that circuit two more times. First, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds up to a minute. All right, after you've done circuit one three times, Again, rest for 30 seconds, up to a minute, we're gonna go into circuit two. Now these exercises don't really need the cones. We're just gonna leave them there anyway. You wanna come into a lunge position. Sink down deep, bring the hands out in front of you, bring them together, and we're just gonna rotate the shoulders side to side. Not very far. And working on being very stable in your core. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds on this side. After 20 seconds, switch legs. Sink back down, boom. 20 seconds again. All right, after those 20 seconds, we're gonna come into another one for the core. We're gonna come into the squat position, hands are together, bringing these hands over here outside that outside leg. As we come up, reaching up. Boom, back down that diagonal, and up. Reaching up as high as you can, really twisting and sinking down deep in this squat. After 20 seconds of that, same thing, opposite side. Boom, coming up here. Right here, and up here. Here, and here. 20 seconds. All right, after that, you wanna find something to hold on to. A chair, a table, anything. We're gonna extend one leg back on the toe. We're gonna lift it up comfortably as high as we can. Don't make it a strain. And what we're gonna do is lift a little bit higher. That's how high I want you to lift on this drill. Lift it up as high as you can, really squeezing the glutes. So we're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Up and down. After that, what do you think? Switch sides. Next leg back, hold on to what you need to. Up and down, 20 seconds. Again, we're gonna do that, rest for 30 seconds to a minute. Repeat this entire circuit two more times. Okay, okay, after round two, our last and final round. Again, we're gonna repeat this three times. We're gonna go through the circuit, 20 seconds each exercise. First one we're gonna start off with is lunging, crossing over behind us, reaching his foot back, just coming to our hips are kind of twisted. And then we're stepping back. Here, reaching back and over with that back foot. Up and down, come on. Up, reach over and down. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds. Just like that, nice and easy pace. Work only as hard as you go, as fast as you can, not as fast as you can. After that, we're gonna come here and just leg lifts. Stand up tall, if you need something to hold on to, hold on to it. And with lifting, leg straight out to the side. Toes point forward, try not to tilt to the side. Up and down, 20 seconds. Switch sides, boom, 20 seconds, you guessed it. Keep going. 
After those 20 seconds, we are going to work on the hamstrings. Standing up tall, imagine that your torso and your leg are locked in, in one long straight line. So as we lower the torso, we're lifting the heel. Doesn't matter really how far you go, you go parallel back, go as far as you can. Use the hamstrings, the muscles in the back of the legs, to pull you back to this upright position. Again, if you need something to hold on to, you can have a chair in front of you, out to the side, the arms can be wherever they need to be. Up and down. 20 seconds, switch legs, same thing. Up and down. After those 20 seconds, last exercise, calf raises. Again, hold a chair, anything that you need, a wall, a railing. Just coming up and high the toe as you can. Coming up on the toes as high as you can. There we go, 20 seconds of calf raises. After that, rest for 30 seconds, up to a minute. Repeat that cycle two more times, and that is your workout for the day.